Now, I think this video gives an example of why I say Michael Ropo sometimes, the things that he teaches can be a bit dangerous. He, he goes overboard, like he defends people too much. He defends the wrong WhatsApp group, which makes me question him. Like, what's going on, man? What, what, you starting to sound like we shouldn't listen to you like at all, completely. Now, the moment of truth is here again. You just heard the introduction of what I'm going to be talking about from Ricky, the church reality check. Orokbo is setting himself up for dragging again. And this is why the actor called him a lizard. He is saying that we should not correct the error in the body of Christ. He admitted that there are lots of wrong things going on, but he said we should shut up. We should not talk about them. Stay tuned. Leave the false to be false. And it was always weird when I heard that. I was like, how are you okay when people are being deceived? I found that weird, but for each man... So when we correct error, we are not attacking people. Mm. I don't attack people. You know, there's a move, of, a move in the body of Christ now where... Everybody wants to attack somebody and they think it is boldness to call somebody's name and to attack him. If they are correcting doctrine rightly, okay, there is a right way of correcting. See how he, he, he defend himself for calling them out as well. He called them a Ponzi scheme. And when you talk, they quote scripture. See, I will do a teaching on that someday, but not now. But you see, most of these things are wrong. You can attack what is wrong but you don't have the, the clearance to attack somebody. Because that person might even be wrong when you are talking. What if the person re repents? I don't know what to make of what he just said. So, Orokwa is actually calling collection an attack. If that is an attack in your own dictionary, then we want you to start doing the right thing. Period. Might. They might repent. We don't know if they're going to. So it doesn't change the fact that, that what they thought was wrong. We call it out because it's wrong. Otherwise, how do we convict people towards the Messiah by not addressing the wrong? If they are wrong in doctrinal position, they are wrong on the subject matter of having a good relationship with God. They are wrong on this subject. When do you correct them? Do you just... So you have shut the door of the body of Christ to that person. Whereas, all of us at some point were involved in something that was not of God. I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> he says, what we have done. So, this person... so what is the argument now? He admitted that they did wrong thing and that's why we are talking because we have to defend the faith and save the gullibles. So, he's saying what of if that person repents? Yeah, we will stop talking about them. And whatever they did right, we give them their flowers. And unfortunately, everyone we've been talking about, none of you have repented. You are waxing strong, stronger and stronger in your evil. And you continue in your errors. And we are not going to keep quiet. We are not going to fold our hands. That's it. We have to let people know that you are false. Period. Someone and avoiding them. It means that this person, the person themselves, is far. Okay? First, there is areas where you might correct the doctrine and here and there. But then this person is consistent. They persist in error. They become an attacker of the gospel. You mark them. That's what we have done with many people. We've, 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 we've shown this is an error. This is an error. This is an error. And then there comes a point where we, where we stop and we say, uh -uh, this is not just error. The person is in error. So at that point, it sounds like we are attacking the person. No, we are marking them. As the Bible instructed in the book of Titus, he said, silence them, call them out, let people know that they are fake. So stop them. Because <laughs> what I'm saying is in the Bible, what you're saying, I can't see it. Some of us were liars, 
Some of us were manipulators. Some of us were fornicators. Some of us, we had many things. God picked up. We were. But the Bible says it. And that's why the Bible made it clear who should be on the pulpit, who should put themselves up as a leader. So none of you meet the criteria. All of you running up and down on the pulpit. You are just doing it for your own pockets, for your own purposes. You are not fit to be a leader. You are leading people to destruction. You are leading the youth, our youth, to damnation. You are not preaching the gospel. You are preaching demon. You are preaching money and all that. And so what? Attack what is wrong. Let your people know the difference between good and evil and let them choose good. But leave the people. The Bible says, mark them. For your information, we are not going to leave them. Oh. Leave them to continue destroying people. They will cash in on their error. They, they are at, uh, on top of that, they destroy lives, they destroy destiny. Look at what is going on in our world today. Look at the youth. Look at the state of Nigeria. Look at Christianity. All rubbish. So that we can avoid them. When you talk, they start quoting scripture. Go and read the New Testament. Every time the apostles attacked people, the people came to their congregation. Go and so we get and check in Acts 16 when Paul attacked the young lady that was a diviner. She came to Paul's meeting. She was following. Okay, so we. we see. We don't have to come to your church. You come to our cyberspace. If you come to YouTube to post your nonsense, your error that will destroy life, destroy destiny, we will talk about it. We highlight it. We will pinpoint it. We will not allow you to destroy our destiny, to destroy our community, to destroy our lives. No way. If the other did it, see where we are today. Adeboye, uh, continue doing it. Oyedepo continued doing it. And they gave back to Suleiman. They gave back to NHL. And they gave back to Ibiome. They all destroy lives. Chris Oyakilome is doing his own. Ashimolowo do, do, do. He retired and is now an estate agent. No, we will not allow that to happen again. We might have not been circumcised. So, what? Paul up and down. These are the men of God. Listen to them. That was when Paul attacked him. When Jesus told Peter, get thee behind me. That's why Apostle Takim called them blind prophets. Because they be quoting scriptures all up and down. See what he's saying now. You come to our, our cyberspace. We will highlight you. We will check you. Before you, say them. <laughs> you, know? you can't rise up and go and start attacking somebody in another church. Or God, you are not Jesus Christ. Is that the criteria? See what he's saying. You are not Jesus Christ. We are Jesus Christ followers. We are sons of God. Sons and daughters of God. And we have to defend our faith. Because that's all we got. Lower the standard. Way too low, man. I don't know if he's the first prophet or if he's what. I know he likes associating with too many of them. And so, one thing for sure is, Mike, what compromises are you bringing, man? The ship is priority. Most of these things are caused from pride. And when they are teaching false doctrine, don't they teach it from pride? All of you are proud, do. Arome will come up, he will hype himself. You yourself, you come up, you call yourself high and mighty. Don't copy me, I'm in my I'm this, I'm that. So is that not pride? When did you start? Then when do we mark them and avoid them? Let's leave them alone. But when do we mark? And avoid. That's a verse. When when Mike gets there, tell me. Because what we do now is that if somebody is your enemy, you want to force every other person that is close to you to make them their, your enemy. If God even tells you that this person is fake, He has not told me, sir. Do you wait for that? The manual is there. Bible is our manual. My Bible told us what to be expected from the prophets and the preachers and all that. That's why we are Bible scholars. So you cannot cheat us, you can only cheat the gullibles. And we that know the truth, we will not allow... But I will not tag somebody fake because God told you. Now, for the purpose of order, if you are under an authority, and that authority picks from God that this person is fake, 
if you are under that authority, you must align. Because if you don't align, it means you are walking in disorder. And even though you align, it doesn't give you the clearance to attack the person. Mike, make up your mind. What are you teaching? <laughs> okay. Like right now, he's talking about a church. You might be in how you to cheat the gullible. We will stop you. We will announce you. The way they announced it, Osa, they gave him hell. The way they did to Adeboye, Oyedepo, NHA, all of you that are roaming about. Chris Ayakilome, um, the real estate man, Ashimolowo, Ibiome, we will expose all of you. Bible tells us what to do. We don't need your approval. Thank you, my people, for listening. Please go to Ricky's channel to watch, to hear his own analysis as well. See you on my next video. Bye for now.